Uh, so I noticed it's working a little bit better than I had thought. Um, I did repair this knob. So this knob um, allows you to set the maximum peak voltage. So here's 15 volts. Here's 75 volts and it goes up to 1500 volts. So yeah, you don't want to go there. So I have it set here to 15, um, 15 volts max. And then this knob is zero to 100. So it's percentage of this. So if it's set to 100, then you have 15 volts um, into the circuit. So I think I have the camera now so you can see the, uh, so the switch says, do you want the left, the left um, socket or the right socket? And have it on the right socket. And then as I turn the voltage up, yeah, there we go. I think you can. I think you can now see that. Let me look in the viewfinder here. There's a smudge right on the viewfinder, so I can't see. Yeah, you can see. It. So it's it, it's lit up now. Okay, and I can go up here to 80% um, of 15 volts. Um, but I have a series resistor. That series resistor is down here. Okay, it's a series resistor. So I have it as a 650 ohm uh, resistor. Now to change the resistor without changing the voltage, you pull this knob, pull this knob, and now you can change the change the resistor. So I can change it to say 140 ohms. And now as we go up, it doesn't take as much voltage to start turning on the LED. Okay? It'll get much, much brighter. Alright, so I'll put it back down here to 650. Um, now, if we look at the screen, okay, there's a button here that says zero. And that tells you where zero is, and then you can you can set these two things to be zero. Okay. Then, as I increase the voltage of my LED, oops, it's just it's just drifted off. Everything is a bit. There we go. Now, if I increase the voltage, it'll come along, come along, come along, come along, and look at that. Whoop! There it is. There's there's the VF curve of the of the diode. Okay. So what is our units? Our units are, horizontal units are 0.5 volts, okay? So we we'll have 0.5, 1, 1 and a half, and just over 1 and a half, about 1.6, um, the, uh, the LED is starting to turn on. So it's acting like a curve tracer. Um, not a very good curve tracer, <laughs> but it's much more functional than it was. So I'm just not getting this repeat thing where you sweep. I'm just not getting the sweep, no matter what settings I have. I just can't get it to sweep. Um, but I can get it to trace a diode. That's pretty cool. Um, seems like the vertical's not working well either. Seems like the horizontal works. So I can go out here, let's say to where it's just starting to turn on, and I can increase or decrease the resolution. So let's put our zero way down here. And I will move the zero so it's in the lower left hand corner there. Okay. Now when I sweep, it goes from this and it goes, see, it's, maybe it's starting to, trying to sweep. I don't know. It's doing weird things. And now it's not doing anything. There's our zero. And so now I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go, bigger. Yeah. So it's very, very noisy. Is it trying to sweep? No, nah, it's just wiggling back and forth. Just wiggling back and forth. Yeah, I don't know what's... I don't know what's going on. Maybe contact cleaner. Maybe... Uh, I just don't know how to drive it yet. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Go down here to zero. Takes a while for some capacitor to bleed off. And then as we go up, whoop, there it goes. And so now we're looking at point two volts. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 1.6 volt is our, uh, this would be 1.8, so about 1.7 volt turn on. That's about right for a red LED. So yeah, it's uh, looking better.